The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. I posted the chart of the FTSE. It's a holiday over there, banking holiday in the UK, but they're still trading futures much like we do here. So nothing's really changed. Uh, same thing in, uh, I believe, Germany is also has a holiday today because I didn't get anything from my, my sources uh, over there. I wanted to uh, bring a couple things to your attention historically because we can learn from these things. Let's just bring this chart up here. This goes back to uh, 2005 when we had Katrina. You'll see there in that August period we had this this monster move up. Uh, you notice you can see there in early August it gapped up quite a bit. Folks, it got up to 16. You know, we're trading at four and change right now. You can see what happened in the next hurricane that it had again preparing for it in the, the early August period of 2008, another huge run-up. Well, we've had the same situation now. This is the fifth largest hurricane ever to hit inland in the United States. I mean, that's a huge thing. And they were talking about, you know, how bullish things were and for the, for the natural gas and everything. And uh, the call this last night was for about, um, you know, 20 to $25 higher. And, of course, the market uh, didn't quite do that. Now, one of the things that we did in our, uh, in our newsletter this week is we, we focused – hold on just one second. I've got to do one thing at a time here. Otherwise, I'll get it mixed up. I wanted to bring up this uh, natural gas because uh, if you look at this natural gas contract – You'll see this is the daily that we were looking at for the uh, most popular one. The the high that it made last night, folks, uh, on the open was at uh, 464. The 1.618 number was 462.80. It, it stayed there for about two or three seconds and immediately broke. It's down uh, almost four thousand dollars from the high, and that's in the midst of a the worst hurricane, one of the one of the five worst hurricanes we've ever had. I think it's ranks just behind uh, Katrina. And if you remember, if you just looked at those weekly charts, you know Katrina, it was it was sixteen sixteen hundred sixteen dollars, and from there it went all the way down to three dollars. So this is an example of the market not acting very good to bullish news. Now the reason why I'm bringing your, that to your attention. For, was for the fact that we were looking at this thing uh, from a very, very important uh, point uh, last night. On and I, I focused on crude oil. I didn't do the natural gas, but look at the natural gas contract. This is the one. This is the spot contract that we're talking about. You'll see that it gapped up from around the 41 level. It only gapped up about eight dollars. The number was uh, 50. Uh, 450. It got to 452.20, and has now dropped uh, well over uh, $3,000. And uh, and this is the midst of the most bullish news you could possibly get for natural gas. There's a perfect example, folks. If you find something that is really, uh, really, really bullish, and it's not going up. Uh, because of bullish news, boy, boy, be very careful. Now, with the stock market, that's different. doesn't make any difference whether it's bearish or bullish. Stocks will go up forever. No question about it. We'll see how high it forever is one of these days, but probably uh, not in our lifetime. All right, now I wanted to take just a moment here to talk about a couple of stocks that we talked about on Friday. Uh, one was Apple. I wanted to bring to your attention because the market was set up for a really big move today in Apple. If you'll notice here, the last retracements we had between the 19th and 20th, they were 618 and 78 percent level. You can see the explosive move right out of the box this morning. Uh, following the opening price, it just exploded. We went into new high grounds easily up above the 152 level. So that was one of the reasons why the market had such a really bullish bias. Uh, coming into today, and it has continued. Now we've we've have some big big patterns out here, and I'll, I'll cover those in just a moment. But before I get to that, I wanted to do uh, Tesla because I've had several people ask me about Tesla because of what we talked about on Friday. The key level, folks, is if Tesla can get above 
uh, 7.30. It's, I, last I saw it was 7.25 or something like that. Then we've got a chance for it to go uh, a whole lot greater. Now, I wanted to get back to Katrina for just a minute because that was a very, very important time in our lives here in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, in August of when that occurred in August of uh, 85, 1995, let's try it again, Meatball, 2005. <laughs> it was uh, August of 2005. Starting in the fall, we started to getting uh, re uh, re people that were being relocated. We got 1,850 people from New Orleans that were relocated here, had nothing on their backs at all. The Gospel Rescue Mission had taken over the convention center in Tucson that seats about, oh, 30,000 people, and that's what they were using as a point of entry for the people came in to get them situated. And so the first thing I did was go down to the Gospel Mission and say, what do you guys need? And uh, he said, boy, he said, the one thing we need more than anything else are toothbrushes and toothpaste. We says, we really don't, we're not prepared for this. And I said, give me a couple hours, I'll get together what I can. I drove out to the Walmart near the house here, and I went in and I told the guy, I said, I want to buy these uh, toothbrushes and toothpastes for the people in, uh, for the thing here. And he said, oh, he said, that's really nice. He said, uh, he said, why don't you, uh, he said, why don't you wait a minute? And he said, I'll call the home office in Arkansas, and I'll see if we can uh, we can help you out. He came, comes back about 20 minutes later, and he said, uh, look, he said, I'll have uh, 4,000 uh, toothbrushes and 4,000 uh, toothpaste shipped to you, drop shipped. You'll have them by tomorrow. And I said, wow. I said, well, how much am I going to owe you? He said, oh, no. He said, well, we're going to pay for it. Oh, oh, my goodness. I said, that's good. So why don't, why don't we buy some right now? And then I'll take, so I bought everything that he had. It came to about, oh, I think it was around $2,100. I bought all the, I bought all the, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, toothpaste and toothbrushes that he had. And I took them down, and uh, that was good. But the, the interesting part about this, uh, Marshall, you'll enjoy this. At that time, uh, two girls were running the, the uh, little chat room we had at Ensign, uh, Leslie Jufus and Shelly Simon. They were, you know, my students, and they were, you know, doing trading and stuff and uh, having a lot of fun and everything. So I went into the trading room uh, there and I said let's let's try to get together and uh, you know help some of these some of these people I'm thinking maybe we're going to raise you know three or four thousand dollars well we had some really generous people in that room one of the gentlemen it, it was in the car business and we needed a van for one family and uh, he called uh, the guy here in Tucson and to find to get a van for him and they gave him a brand new nine passenger Chevy van for his big family he had like six kids and stuff like that. It was like eighteen thousand dollars that he that he donated for that. But the total thing was, uh, I think it was about thirty-eight thousand dollars that the people in the room uh, donated to the, uh, you know, to the to the group. Fortunately, they they sent the money to me, and I was I was able to take it to the racetrack on that Saturday, and uh, came back with nineteen thousand. So we still had nineteen thousand to work with. Now that's a joke, folks. Anyway, that's what happened, and it was fun. The biggest one we ever had was in, in, in uh, New Zealand when Christ Church had that big earthquake. Larry Williams put a group together, and we raised, uh, just in our group, we raised $67,000. So, hey, let's get right back to work here. We'll be right back, folks. 10-4. can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, and Mr. Z asked me to uh, walk through this crude oil trade that we were looking at last night. I make a videos every day of what trades we're setting up for the 24-7 people. And, of course, Sunday I send out four videos, usually for the stocks, uh, the, the four indices, the foreign exchange, gold and silver, and then the crude oil complex. And you'll notice the crude oil complex, and this was uh, – we sent this out uh, before the, the storm was going on, but the market hadn't opened yet. And one of the things that we pointed out was the fact that we were right at a 61% retracement if the market were to open a little bit higher. And, of course, it was called a dollar to $2 higher, and it didn't, didn't make that. It went right to the 61% retracement, which was right at that 69 to 40, 69, uh, 39 was the number of the high was 69. Uh, 54. But what happened after that is what was interesting because, you know, one of the things you do when you're doing short term timing is you watch for patterns that you like to see. And this next one was the was the crude oil. You'll notice that we went we dropped from uh, 6960. We dropped a little over twelve hundred dollars. Then we rallied in ABCD format right to the 382 up there at 6889, folks. I hope you can see that line coming down. That's that 382 retracement that we watch for in strong trending markets. And then what you want to do is to see if these markets are really acting like they should be acting. All you do is follow through and see what happens. And you'll notice here that we dropped almost uh, exactly $2,000 to the high with a perfect ABCD pattern to the downside and a 1.618 expansion at 67.69. Now, I know I bring these numbers up a lot. Some people don't believe in them. I, that doesn't make any difference to me because I know they work. They just don't work all the time. And then you can see we've had this big rally now. We've rallied up to the 78% uh, level of that move already. So when you're when you remember, if you're trading a four-minute chart, you're trading a four-minute chart. You're not trading a, day, a daily or a weekly. So that's the key thing to look at. Okay, now let's move on here and talk about uh, the gold market because uh, bring this up. The same thing happened in the gold market. We set out the same type of pattern here. Hold on one second. We'll get this out here. Uh, I sent the same video for the silver and gold and platinum and copper and everything. But you'll notice here two things. If you'll notice on the bottom, the the where the bottom low is there at uh, 16, uh, 
uh, 7350, whatever that level low was. And then you see the 61% retracement there coming in at $1,826.80. The high last night on the opening was 1826.50. And from there, we've dropped about three thirteen hundred dollars So that was a nice little ABCD farming at that point. And here again, you had the market opening higher and immediately going lower. Whenever you see a market that opens on the high and completely reverses, that just means there's usually were stops up in there. And I'm not sure, you know, where they come from or not. I All I know is that when you see that stuff, we saw it in the, the natural gas last night, we saw it in the crude oil, and we saw it in the gold market. So that's just re re hitting those numbers. That's all we're looking at. And uh, they don't work all the time. But they work more than they than they usually do. So that's the kind of trades that we're looking for when we're doing the the live trading sessions that we do a couple times a year, because those are the real easy ones, the layups where you don't have a whole lot of things, you know, standing in your way. And uh, that's pretty much it. Someone just told me that the Tesla just hit that uh, 730 level. So if it closes above that 730 level in Tesla, that would be a uh, that be, that to me would be a valid breakout. And the next level you'd be watching would be around eight and a quarter. It'd be a hundred dollar move possibly. So whether the markets are going to stop here or it doesn't make any difference. Let me show you uh, some work from John Jameson uh, who does the newsletter for me. This is a real interesting chart. This is the E-mini S&P folks and shows you the number of uh, ABCD patterns that are happening. This is all covered in the newsletter this week. And you'll notice here that there's a possibility we could get another 80 handles higher up to 4610 uh, in the S&P. Now, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of them there. Look at that, one, two, three, four major patterns up there. And uh, you know this market doesn't appear that it wants to turn down. So maybe that's where it's going, I don't know. But boy, I'll tell you what, when you see those four little puppies up there, those, those are not uh, those are not little baby chihuahuas. Those are guard dogs, folks. Those are pit bulls. So whenever it tops up in here, and I don't know if it will in my lifetime or not, but when it does, look out because that's going to make 2008 look like a bear market, a bull market. So let's uh, just keep our guards up and keep watching these things because uh, someday in here there might be a two-day correction in stocks. We've had a question from someone about copper. I wanted to bring it up because we were following copper last week and we had this uh, big ABCD down move down there on the 19th of August. If you did the work yourself, you'll see the ABCD leg went uh, right down just below uh, $4 a pound. I think we got to 396 and of course from there we rallied all the way up today. We we got all the way up to 42. We rallied uh, about 45 cents a pound in copper. Now, remember, the old high in copper is uh, uh, far, far back there. So that doesn't mean that this thing is working. In Hold on, someone's asking a question. Uh, five, yeah, 5% drop, Mr. Z say, Mr. G saying that a 5% drop would uh, feel like a horror film to some of these guys. Well, believe me, folks, it, yeah, just from my experience, you know, I've been doing this in all a long time, and, you know, I, <laughs> it doesn't bother to me. Uh, in fact, I'm not involved in the stock indices uh, at all other than, other than you know, watching what they're doing right here. I mean, last week, folks, you know, we had a spec spectacular week. We were, we were long crude oil. We were short. Uh, 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 we were long crude oil, long silver, uh, long the euro, and long corn. I mean, that was a monster week for us. And it had nothing to do with the stock market because those were the commodities that we were following. And they were all following just about as perfectly as you can be. These, these grains are not acting very well, folks. I mean, they really aren't. They they should be they should be you know shooting to the moon here with the weather and all this other stuff, and, and they're not. And that that is a bad sign because they're you know there's, there's good news and bad action, and that makes it a you know make it a harder thing to uh, to do. So just remind yourself. Just read that book, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator. I've got it right here in the book. I could pick up on any page here, and he'll be talking about stuff like that, and. Uh, you know, this all oh, he's one of the things I'm opening now. He's talking about James Keene, who was a wheat trader. And uh, they were talking about the different uh, 
types of uh, opinions that they had on the market. Uh, Livermore happened to be very, very bearish. Keene happened to be very, very bullish. Neither one of them knew which direction it was going to go, so he had to wait. And in this paragraph is what he talks about. He's got 72,000 shares of a stock, and the news comes out that is very, very bullish. So, oh, man, this is going to be great. What happens? The stock opens lower, and that's the highest price that stock has ever seen. Never goes back to that level. It eventually goes uh, into the tank. So it's not about how much money you make, folks. It's about how much money you don't lose. So keep your trades close to your vest. To keep your losses small and your friends larger. And that's about what you really need to be doing. We're going to take a little break here. Uh, we're going to have Jim Bartolioni on this week sometime, hopefully on Thursday. Uh, he's going to be chatting with us. He's uh, one of my four uh, Top Gun pilots that I had. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the uh, December soybean meal. And as you can see, it's not very bullish. And Mr. Z just pointed out that the news uh, is not that great. 
uh, on the uh, on the grains. I happen to rely on Rich Anderson. Uh, Rich's was a little more bullish than uh, what the grains were talking about, but uh, they're they're re they're responding lower. So we'll wait and see uh, what's going on with these things. But uh, you know, the charts are what really matter. It's the way I look at it. And, you know, ten four. All right, wanted to do a couple things here. Uh, we need to talk about the cattle because uh, we had a, a really nice uh, sell pattern set up in the cattle, and uh, we weren't filled. We we just missed it. Uh, we we tried to sell it up there and missed it by about uh, sixty cents. It's broken quite hard, and we're down again today. So all we're doing now is we're waiting to see uh, what our relationship's going to be here with the. Uh, with the cattle as far as a, a, a two or three day retracement where we could possibly get short. Remember the, the reason why this cattle is so important folks is because the uh, long term picture uh, in the cattle market is we've made a 61% retracement in cattle up there at that 133 level in October cattle. That is re represents a 61% retracement from the high that goes back about five years ago. So that's a really important number. Then when you add it to the ABCD that we just have, that tells us that you want to get ready to be short, you know, the cattle. And I know uh, we didn't get filled out. Uh, some people say, why do you try to sell? Uh, hey, folks, I just look at the numbers. You know, I, I get sometimes I get filled, sometimes I don't. You know, it doesn't bother me. I just move on to the next one. And that's 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 really, you know, what I'm doing is I'm looking at these things. Basically, I'm going <laughs> to... It's this simple, folks. I hate to bring this up a million times, but it's this simple. This is right again from my good friend Mandelbrot. If you just look right here, you'll see here, just look at that A, B, C, D. That's all you have to look at. That's the starting in the fractal, and that's uh, they start with small swings. They end in big swings, and it's the same thing. If you looked at that fractal, and this is what, uh, this is what uh, John Jameson brought to our attention here. Take a look at this. This is nothing more than that exact same fractal, A, B, C, D. You can see it in yellow. You can see it in green, and you can see it in red, and you can see it in blue. I mean, you know, there's four of them there. So, I, you know, if it's going to go higher, it's going to go higher. And I'm looking at shorter-term ones, and I thought that was the one that was going to be, uh, you know, very, very interesting. My game plan today coming in here was, uh, you know, looking at, uh, you know, places where we might be able to uh, – find a place where we can enter without risking very much. And one of the ones that I was watching very, very closely here was the uh, the crude oil, or excuse me, the NASDAQ. Let me get this up here, and I'll just bring this to your attention. You'll see here that we have, oh, I don't have the last part of it, shucks. Anyway, the ABCD measured 15,429. But the the 1.618 expansion of this measured to 14,483, I believe. Yeah, 14,483, which was the 1.618 expansion. Well, it got all the way up, I believe, to 1,493, and now it's a little bit lower than that. But that's all I was doing was watching that number because these things, if you've seen it in crude oil, you see it in gold, and you see it in uh, na the natural gas, you're probably going to see it in the NASDAQ and some other things because these are all running on numbers, and that's the main thing that we're going to be work working at. So what we're going to do is I just got a little flash re report here from uh, Jim Bartolioni, and we're going to have him on next week. He's quite busy, and uh, he's got a he's running a big business, trading business now, plus he still uh, does work for, for NASA. Uh, oh, no, excuse me, the NSA. But anyway, that's a move. That's another story. So we'll have him on uh, next week. We will have for sure. Tim Bost is going to be here on Friday. Shane Smolian will be here on Wednesday. And hopefully we're going to have John Person here on Friday. John's a private trader out of Florida, known him a long time. And uh, he's got some really good charts and stuff. So those are the few things that we're paying very, very close attention to. Now let's get on, on to a couple other stocks that uh, – just never seem to want to go down. Uh, Amazon, we've had a pretty good rally here. You'll see we've got a price objective here uh, that we've been watching Amazon. We went all the way down, you know, broke down. Uh, we're going to have a lot of resistance, I believe, in Amazon right at the 3,400 level. I don't know. If it might even be there already. But can someone tell me where Amazon is this morning? Because uh, the 382 on Amazon comes in right at 3,400. And if it doesn't get any higher than that, 
Ah, it's already gotten above it. So there you go, 34.22. So it's already exceeded that 3.82. So that's a that's a bullish format. Of course, 22 bucks out of 3,400 is not very much. When you do something like 3,400, folks, you've got a risk of you know around 2%. And 2% of that would be $62. So you would have to use a $62 stop, which isn't very much when you stop and you think about the stock is trading at 3400 But uh, the uh, I believe the exact um, – let's see. Let's, let's get this up here to uh, – just to double-check it, see what it is. Yeah, it's 30, 3400 was the exact uh, – 382. So we did go, but with the emotionalism of the market, that's not very much. But, you know, either here, or I'm not trading that. I'm just looking at the stuff I trade is like Mother God and country stuff. You don't have to have a, you know, PhD in mathematics or anything. You just do A, B, C, D, do a couple little calculations, and you're going to be okay. You know, trading is simple, folks, but it's not easy. And the reason why it's not easy, there's so many other factors that are out there that get you to change your mind. First of all, in the weather today, the weather's affected crude oil, it's affected natural gas and other things and all i'm doing is if we have a report like this all i'm doing is say okay this is what we had and you look at this and it says okay here we are at four dollars and fifty cents in the uh, cubic feet of natural gas and we've got the fifth largest uh, inland hurricane we've ever seen in the united states it's second only to katrina and the the stuff is trading for four times less than it was Back in 2005 and 16, I know there were a lot of other factors in there, but you know, you're looking at a market that is totally different than it was way back in there. So if it didn't respond good, then that then you're looking at something a whole lot different. If you have any questions, folks, 877-927-6648. And uh, Mr. Z is asking a question. Uh, uh, assume that gold is under. Uh, you inclined to short balance. Yeah, I'm in. I, I have to respect. Uh, Z's asking about that price in the gold at uh, 1826. Uh, yes, I have to assume that's as a, as a major high up in here because it's exactly 61 percent retracement off the high at 78 percent. You know, not see. There you go. Mr. Bill is saying there was danger to production last time. Not this time. See, Bill knows more about natural gas than than most people. So that's a big plus that he has. I I don't have that as a uh, you know as a, as something to look at. All I'm looking at is bling. He's. Uh, <sighs> I, no, I'm. Z's asking, am I short bounces or buying dips? I, I do both, Mr. Z, and I'm a short-term trader. I look at 30-minute charts, four-hour charts, hourly charts. All I know is 16, 1826 was a perfect 61% retracement. So all I okay, let, let's just take it from a from a, a theoretical point of view. We know the harmonic number in gold is thirty-two dollars. Okay, so if you take eighteen twenty-six plus thirty-two, seventeen ninety-five should be a good support in the gold. That's what I'm looking at. Seventeen ninety-five. Eight seven seven nine two seven six four. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, and I'm going to try to answer Mr. Z's question, because if he's got a question, everybody does. I posted a chart of the gold. You can see that's a basically a very simple chart. Uh, it just shows the high up there at 1826.50. That's the whole starting point, okay? That's the main thing, okay? The, what I want to do, if I'm assuming that that's the high, I would like to have some proof that maybe that is the high. So all I'm doing here is looking at this 15-minute chart. I'm going to bring it forward to let you see it. So we see the high up here at 1862, 1826.50. The market breaks down. I'm looking for a 382 retra retracement at 820. Okay, you see that it goes to 82090. Okay, then it doesn't take that high out at all. We come down, we rally up a little bit, uh, the same amount. We rallied uh, five dollars in that move and five dollars in that move. So that leads us to just one possible conclusion, and that is this is what we're looking at here in gold over the next few hours. After a few hours, you know that's uh, you know who knows, but there it is. You can see the high up there, 1826.50. We come down to the 382 retracement. The market breaks down, goes back to the 382 retracement again, and then that sets up an ABCD pattern down here at 1809. And that is down $17 from the uh, 18, yeah, $17. That's one half the harmonic number. We're heading towards uh, 1809 today, folks. That's only $3 away. Shucks, it'll probably be there before I finish my sentence. But anyway, that's it. So we'll see if that's uh, if that's what if that that's what I'm doing when I'm watching markets during the day, folks. I'm not watching them all the time. I'm setting up something like that. So if I want to be a buyer of gold, I put my little beeper in there, and when it gets down below eight, eight, uh, 18, 12, 18, 11, I want to start watching it because that's going to be a nice ABCD pattern. Certainly controllable risk, something that's trading at 180 uh, some thousand dollars a contract. So that's very, very uh, acceptable from a from a trading standpoint. Now, if that was a daily chart, it wouldn't make any difference. But that's uh, that's what we're watching as we look at some of these things. Let me catch up here to what the markets are doing, folks, because. Uh, this is we're all we're always in a bunch of important things happening each time we view these markets. But uh, the main thing that I'm keeping a very, very close eye on is these cattle, because I think that's got a chance to be a very, very low risk uh, position if we do get that little bit of a rally. But we need that rally in order to get the low risk situation. That's uh, what we're trying to uh, 
That's what we're trying to look at. One other question someone's asking. Let me get this up here and take a look at it. That is about the Russell. You'll notice here the Russell took off like, uh, you know, there was going to be no buying left or no selling left in Russell. You'll see uh, it took out the highs of 618. I think the Russell is still down on the day. At least it was a little while ago. That's still acting, you know, quite bearish, but that doesn't mean anything. Remember, we had Jeff Huge uh, from Alpha Insights on Friday, and my goodness, he had so many things to say that the market's in such a, you know, topping pattern that you have to be extremely careful. I agree with all of those things, but it hasn't turned down as of yet. And uh, when you first, when you, when it first turns down, folks, I can promise you this, with 100 percent. Well, I shouldn't say 100 percent. Let's say, let's say ivory soap, ivory soap, 99.9. The shorts are so scared to death that after the market breaks, just like it's done before for 70 pips or 70 handles, 50 handles, it comes back roaring because the shorts are scared to death. And you know, John, John has been, uh, John Jameson's been spot on. Maybe we are looking at uh, 46. 610, 4600 uh, in the, uh, the S&P. It doesn't make any difference what the news is, folks. Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Bazistan, whatever it is, th this market keeps going higher. There's more buyers and sellers. Now, the open interest has not been you know, performing well. We had these big up moves this past week, and we didn't get big uh, increases in open interest. So there's uh, a lot of short covering going on up in here. And the, But for every short covering, there's new, bu new uh, banana stand. That's a very good one, Bill. Anyway, the, you don't know. Uh, all I'm trying is you, you don't get extra credit, folks, for picking a high. You really don't. All you're trying to do is to find a pattern that you can risk with a, a small degree of uh, – Confidence. That's what I'm looking at here in the uh, in the uh, in the gold market. You know that that basically explains what it is. Now, should we go below that uh, 18 uh, excuse me 1809 level, then we're going to be looking at a $34 break from the high, one full harmonic number. That's going to take you all the way down around 1792 or whatever that number. Have. Yeah, it's around 1792. So. That's uh, that's what I'm looking at. I'm trying to keep the risks uh, as small as I possibly can, and you know, move it on from that level right here. Uh, someone's asking to review the guest tomorrow. I hope to have John Person on Tuesday, the tentative. Shane for sure on Wednesday, and uh, Tim Boss for sure on Friday. Uh, Thursday's open. I'm trying to get in touch with uh, Ben Bernanke, but uh, he gets a hundred thousand dollars for a speaking engagement. So. Uh, I can't get him for 30 seconds, well, even 10 seconds. So that'll be an open date for us, too. So we'll keep a, we'll be watching who else is going to be in here right now. Okay, another question has popped up, and I'll get the answer for you or give you my opinion. Hold on one second. And that is the Dow Jones Transportation. Watch this one, folks. This is going to be a real key this week. I I have not driven. <laughs> I have not drawn the <laughs> have not drawn the uh, the ABCD 382 retracement that comes in up around the uh, 265 level uh, in this. But with the market so strong, we're probably going to get above that. But that will be a little Gartley pattern in the Dow Jones transportation that is forming either uh, today. Uh, or tomorrow. So our our remembering is that we have. Here's one very important one to watch, folks. And the reason why I'm looking at the short side of the gold here at this level is because if you look at silver here, this is the daily silver chart, folks. And uh, you know we were looking uh, for this market to get up to about 2460 uh, in the in the. And remember, gold, silver did not do that much. I mean, when we had that big run up in gold last night. Well, it was only about eight dollars higher, but that silver didn't do much. So silver at twenty four sixty is going to be really interesting, and the reason for that is, folks, that's an A, that's an ABCD on the daily at a three eight two, and that's uh, that's ideal. I mean, you get a three eight two retracement in a bear market, uh, that that means a lot. So keep an eye on silver at that twenty four sixty level. You know, we uh, we were long that, we're now out of it, and now we're just. Uh, waiting to see, uh, you know, what the next uh, pattern is going to unfold here. So I hope that all helps a little bit. We're going to have a break here coming up, and then we'll finish up the show. I've got one other question that I can quickly answer, and that is about the euro. We still think the euro's got more to go to the upside. Uh, we've already – we I covered this uh, last week with the dollar index, but the dollar index is still very similar to the silver chart. 
on a long-term basis, and uh, it's another one that uh, is certainly on a watch list because if the dollar index ever gets above 94, folks, the euro is going to be heading into the trash can. And, and we hear news all the time coming out of Europe that they are in a uh, global debt cri uh, global global debt crisis. Well, what do you think we got here? Borrowing money left and right to pay for things we can't afford. That's called a global debt crisis, and that's what we're into. When, how it'll react. Uh, over long term, I don't know, but we will find out someday in the future. That's for sure. Okay, I think we got a break coming up here, and when we get back, if you want to sneak it, try to get a call in eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Hi folks, this is Steve Rhodes. Stay tuned for another great hour of the Trader's Edge, heard here at TFNN.com. Okay folks, just for kicks and giggles, I want to end the show here with the U.S. dollar index. Uh, this is the reverse of the euro. Uh, this goes up, the euro goes down. If you notice here that the U.S. dollar index has a very, very important number up there at 94.25 that is a this is a weekly chart it started back in december so we're three quarters of the way through it and you notice that that 94.34 is looming big now if this market happens to get to that level and turns around that is going to be very very bearish to the u.s dollar 
This is very similar to the chart that I just posted on the silver. The fact that the silver has such tremendous resistance at 2460. That doesn't mean, you know, that means for sure that maybe it goes to 25, but at 2460, that's where you want to be able to, in the silver is where you want to be looking at. Just like with this dollar index, you're looking at 94 and a quarter. Well, what we've done here the last few weeks is just backed and filled a little bit. Sure, that was a nice trade, you know, buying the euro there down at that 117 level. It rallied, uh, you know, 100, 100 points, which is pretty good for a short term trade. But longer term, this is really important what we're watching here. And if you wanted to, you know, defy human nature, it went back to look at the low in January and to see that it rallied for how many months and then come down into the low in May and how many months it's rallied to now, you might get an idea that, wow, maybe there is some symmetry in some of these markets. So I think it's important to we remember these things. One of the things, uh, if you'll talk about, uh, just remember here that we talked about last week and what told us that this dollar index was going to have some problems up here is the fact that uh, we had that three drive to a top pattern up there at 93.80, just perfect ABCD. We're now 100 handles lower, just like we're 100 handles higher in the euro. We've still got a little more to go down to the downside, another 50 pips down in this, another 50 pips higher in the euro, and then you're going to have a completed pattern. you have something to hang your hat on. So that's in the future. It ain't going to be today. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless.